how to disable the BIOS password on a Dell Optiplex 745 here and it's running an old Celeron CPU so when the BIOS password is locked you cannot change the boot sequence you cannot boot using the F12 key to use to boot into a USB and change the boot uh, device and plus uh, some other things that you cannot do so in this video I'm going to show you how you can disable the BIOS password completely and you can have free to change anything you like so what we do is just going to turn off the computer so I'm going to shut it down and now I'm going to remove the power cable so I've got the USB plug in but I cannot boot so on the side here there is a latch so we'll pull it out and we're going to open up the cover now the normally with all the computers, if you uh, remove the battery right here, and if you take out the battery for 30 seconds to 1 minute, and if you put the battery back in, the CMOS is reset and the password is um, removed. But uh, in this case, on a Dell computer, it won't do that. Uh, when you put in the battery back in, turn on the computer, the password still remains. So what you need to do is remove the jumper on the, on the computer. So I'm just going to pull this two blue cable here. And pull out the hard drive so I flip the hard drive over and I'm just going to find the jumper here so this is the blue jumper that's got the password so there it is so if I zoom in you should see it say password right there so you can see it say PSWD now that is the bias uh, password jumper so what we do is we just going to uh, remove this blue pin so we just remove that completely and then now we're just going to put the hard drive back in so I'll just leave the jumper on the side here and I decide to use it again then we'll plug the computer back in and this time I'm going to put up the computer Press the F2 key, go to set up. You see, it says password disable. Now I'm just going to go into uh, boot sequence now, and I can now change the boot sequence as you can see. So I can press on that, and I'm going to press on the new key to move it up. So you can see I can do that. Now I can also go into the security section. You can see I can put in the admin password, system password, so I can do a lot of other things once the password is removed. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video.